I'm attorney Nick Alcock. I'm the owner of Alcock and Associates. We get calls all the time from people that want to know what are your rights when it comes to a DUI arrest and what can you do if you're pulled over for a DUI. And everybody uh, who calls is a little bit unsure about, well, what tests do I need to submit to and what tests you know, do I not have to submit to? And those are all very good questions and I can just break it down this way. You have the right at any time, if a police officer is asking you questions, to say, you know what, officer, I'd like to speak with my attorney. And when you do that, it stops the investigation. It stops the questioning. It stops, basically, the pursuit of evidence that they may want to use against you. And that, that statement really is almost a magical statement. I would like to speak with my attorney now. If you make it in a way which is unequivocal, very clear and direct, not, is it a good idea for me to speak with my attorney, or should I, something like that. No, it's, officer, I'd very much like to speak with my attorney now. When you make that type of comment, you're exercising your right to remain silent. Now people think, well, is that the right thing to do? Is that gonna be used against me? Is that something that indicates that maybe I'm guilty or that I'm impaired? No, it indicates that you know what your rights are. It indicates that you know that you have your right to remain silent and you're gonna invoke that right. And they can't use that against you. They can't then go to court months later and say, well, the person asked to speak with uh, their attorney, so they must be guilty of a crime. That's not how it goes. They actually can't bring that up. They cannot use it against you. So if you are pulled over and uh, police officer wants to conduct a DUI investigation, you can say, you know, officer, I'd be happy to. I'd just like to speak with my attorney first. I very much want to speak with my attorney. And that pretty much shuts it down. And uh, they won't be able to make you do the field sobriety test, the touch your nose, the walk the line, and that kind of thing. Now, it's a different situation when they want you to blow into a machine or take your blood. Because in that situation, uh, they can actually get a warrant for your blood and they can you know, hold you down forcibly and remove your blood. And it's a different uh, situation entirely when it comes to blood and breath testing. Uh, in that, I normally recommend that uh, you, know, you actually call your attorney because every case is a little bit different. If you're invoking your right to counsel, exercise that right and call an attorney to see whether or not it's a good idea for you to submit to a blood or a breath test. Usually it is. There are some cases where it may not be a good idea. Uh, and if you have any questions about that, you can always call our office at 602-989-5000. So the short story is you do not need to speak with the police officer, answer questions. You can always say, I want to speak with my attorney. Uh, before they take your blood, before you blow into a machine, you should exercise that right and you should call an attorney. In this case, you can call us, 602-989-5000 is our number. We're happy to answer any questions that you have uh, about DUI and what your rights are. And if you have been arrested for a DUI, we certainly are able to answer any questions that you have about your court, even if it's a misdemeanor or a felony, even if the case is a little bit uh, advanced and it's headed to trial. We're happy to speak with you and, and help you out. So 602-989-5000 is our number. Appreciate it very much. Thanks so much.